Welcome to a new video. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a very easy and simple login authentication with these different employees. As you can see here, now I am here on the page 9999. This is my login page. So also if I change the session and make enter, then you can see every time I come here on the login page. Here is a report with the images, name and email. So if I click, for example, here for the Lisa Meyer on this button, then a new page is here open. Then I can confirm the login and click here on the login button. Then you will see now I'm locked here with the Lisa Meyer. So I can also here make easily sign out and login again very simple for example with the Felix Richter I click here and then login and now I'm logged. How to create this I will show you here in this video step by step. You will also find all the important information here in the blog post. I will put the link here in the video description so you can easily copy and paste the code. So let's get started. Welcome to a new video. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create a diff, how we can create a login for these different employee. So let's get started. First of all, we can see here here are our different employees, and all these different employees have a name, but they don't have here any email. So the first target is that we have to define here the email, and for that, I will update here the email. So um, I will open here the SQL command and also I will open here the object browser to show you the table then you remember we created in last video this table and also we insert here some employee and then you can see here here are these different employee and yeah but here is no email so what will I do I will copy the name and convert it into email um, first I will also here replace all the spaces into point if I run the SQL statement then you can see everywhere where is a space it's now converted with the point and then I will write here for example at apexnode.com enter or now make ODE and then you can see there is one email I can also write here for example um, lower your bracket is closed and then you will see um, all these emails are written in the small character the next step is to update this table and set the email column here is the email here set this email with this here and then you will see so now i will mark all of this and press Control enter then you can see 21 rows are updated so if i go back here then you can see email is empty but if i refresh here then now i have here the emails now it's perfect and the next step is to create a login for these different employees so that currently you can see now i am locked because i locked over the oracle database login authentication so we will change this um, i go here to the application uh, to the application from here and then I go here to the shared components the authentication schemas then you will see normal there is only the one standard Oracle Apex account I will create here a new authentication then I click here on the next button and define here the name so I will write here for example employee custom login then for the schema type I will select here the database account and that's it then i will create this and now you can see is current is now i have to go here and set this authentication um, as make current schema then okay and now you can see is current is yes and the old is no and that's it for the first then we can go back here to the application and go to the login page and check if i run this then you will see normal is this one but currently we don't need this because what we want is that we we want to log in with these different emails but it's also bad if i every time copy this and paste there um, what we can do is to create um, a report with all of these different employees and show here so i will um, remove this or i will comment out this one 
So you can see here comment out or what you can also do is here on the server side condition and set here uh, never. So it's also hide. Right. Or what you can do is delete this because we don't need it. So if I if I set here for the configuration comment out and save it and run, then you will see here is the empty page. Um, yes, and I can copy I can copy from here this report. You remember here on the page 40 we have here already the employee report. So I can go here to the page 40 and copy this report. Copy to other page. We don't need the button. So page this page because this is our login page. Employee report is okay. And now I have copied. So if I go back here to this page, then you can see now we have here currently this log this is our login page but i will make um, here a little bit smaller because we don't need here a lot of things so for example we don't need the preview we also don't need the column job higher date salary email okay email is okay but we don't need all of these columns so i will make this as a hidden column only what we need is the image the employee name and the email so if i save this and run then you can see now we have here the image we have here um, the name and then we have here also the email uh, i will also change here something here is the employee report and i will set here some css code so you can also copy easily this code and paste it here then Set this OK. I will also go here and set here the design or the template as a login and run the page. And then you can see now it's a little bit uh, smaller and we have like this one. And we also don't need this one and this one. So I will go back here in the page designer and here and here to the use template. I can hide the login header icon. Wait, let me check. So it's now a little bit better. And I will also make here the attributes. Number of rows is okay. But what we have to do is to change the link. Because what I want is now that it should go to the page, to this page, and then ask if do you want to log in or not. So what we have to do is we have to create first of all one another page. Run build save. Then create from here a new blank page with this number and confirm login. This could be for example a modal dialog. We create here hidden item. For example, with the email. This is hidden and one button. Create here a new button. Make this button bigger and it's green. This is okay. This is also okay. Make this, for example, this one. And that's it. So we go back here to this page and set here the link is the new created page our our this item will be set with this email so now um, i will also change here the icon so i will replace this edit icon with the sign in icon so i will save it and run the page then you can see we have now here the sign in button so if i click here then you can see a new page 9998 is opening and then now if i click here on the login currently nothing happening but my target is if i click here then i am automatically locked with for example lisa meyer and if i clicked here on the maximilian then uh, maximilian should be locked so we have to go here to the, this page and i have also set this page as page is public and create here a process login login 
So then you can easily uh, copy and paste this code. You can see here is the login process. This is our username. So for example, email, if I write email, this is our hidden item. And this hidden item is the email. Currently, we don't have here any password. It will take the current session. And here is also the app ID. And here is the page. Also, it will redirect us to the page number one, also to the home page. So I will check. It's OK. Then I will save this. And I can also set here only if I click here on the login button, then it will uh, run this code. So I will save this and go back and refresh. Now you can see if I click here, then it will confirm with this button. And then you can see here I am locked with the Lisa Meyer. So I make here sign out and then I will log in with the Julia Fischer. Then I click here and confirm this. Now I'm locked with another user, also with another employee. And in this way, I have created here a own custom login authentication where I can log in here with the different employee. Why we create this? Because I will do here in the future some different um, implementation. And then it's important that we can um, easily log in with these different users, also with these different employees. And it will help us so we don't have to copy every time the email and the password to log in. So what we can do is every time we can go, uh, we can easily log out and then we can also easily log in. So what we also can do is, for example, on this page, we can um, show the different information of this employee if we need. But in this scenario, it's only to show you or to, to show you how it works if you want to do this uh, login. Okay, that's all in this video. I hope you know how to create a customized login with uh, these different employee. Maybe if you also need like this scenario or you have some application where you want also open or public uh, login with one demo user or with multiple demo user then maybe you can also select this way and create a login for example like this one and that's all in this video and if you have any question you can write me here in the comment and thanks for watching